Pikes Peak Marathon today. Running from Manitou Springs all the way to the top of Pikes Peak. 14,115 feet. Gonna do about 8,000 feet of elevation gain. Turn around to the top, run 8,000 feet back down. So this is the start line of Pike Speed Marathon. So we're going to ask now Ingvild from Norway. Why did you come here? Come on. Ingvild, good morning. How do you feel? Excited. So the summit is inside. What do you think? Is it far away? It looks far from here, yeah. So you prepare for the altitude? Yeah, or I've been here for two weeks, so hopefully, but we'll see today. I'm feeling great that today is going to be a great journey. So uh, the summit is inside, it does not look so far away, but is it really that close? It's not that close, and the biggest problem is that it's quite high. So what do you think, how will your body react to the altitude? We will suffer a lot. But it's for everyone the same? Not for everybody, but uh, almost for everybody, yeah. It's number three for me. Pikes Peak, um, you know, it's the only Golden Trail series in the U.S., but it's also a huge, iconic mountain, high altitude, racing in Colorado against the best guys in Colorado, so that's part of it too. We are at bar camp. We're about, what, seven and a half miles into the race. Strong man. So now we are driving up Pikes Peak because obviously we can't keep up with the fast guys. It's going to be really interesting if Kilian beat the upper record with this 201. And there's actually a car race also going up Pikes Peak with the record is 8 minutes. And we are not going to try to beat that today. So here we are at the turnaround point that the runners will pass after having done a half marathon. And from there it's just down. 
And we just got the information that Kilian uh, is two and a half minutes uh, behind record pace at Bar Camp, which is halfway up. And Maud Matisse from Switzerland, she is six minutes ahead of record time. But there's a lot to happen between Bar Camp and here because we're in high altitude. And so it's going to be really exciting. <laughs> He arrived eight minutes behind record time here. He's a pretty good descender, but I think it's really tough to beat that record, if not impossible. We will see. Surprise and more arrived here at 229 minutes and this was the second fastest time ever for a woman coming up and I think she will really smash the record. finish line we are waiting the first one to arrive uh, we know that Kilian was uh, at the top in two hours and nine minutes so like eight minutes slower than Matt Carpenter's time so it will be really hard to have a record from him down here but we will see
for the female, Maud Matisse was 13 minutes faster than Megan Kimmel at the top. So it's going to be hard to beat her and it's going to be an impressive record if she's able to keep the pace. from Pikes Peak Marathon has been a crazy hot day. Kilian Journey won the race but didn't broke the record. But Maud Matisse did it by 13 minutes. She has done a, just an outstanding performance. And so now just one race is missing. Ring of Steel in Scotland in less than two weeks. See you over there.